Welcome to the TechnologyCloset.com and our quick shots. In this quick shot, we're going to show you fonts in Windows 8. To display all of the fonts that you have installed on your Windows 8 computer, we must go to the desktop. Click on the desktop tile. From the desktop, select Control Panel. Under Control Panel, Appearance and Personalization. Select at the bottom, Fonts. Now this box shows you all of your displayed fonts on your system. Windows 8 comes with quite a number of fonts that can be used in any of your documents. You can also change the fonts though on things such as the computer, in this case the font describing the computer. You can change the font of the title bar. You can change the font for a lot of things. Be very judicious here because sometimes they will look out of place and I'll demonstrate that. On the, uh, If you wanted to see what a font looks like, uh, you just simply find the font you'd like to, dis to uh, examine in this case, I'm going to look at, where is it here? We're going to look at Georgia. Double click on Georgia. Now you can see what bold, bold italic, italic, and regular look like. If you want to see what the bold looks like, double click on it. It brings up another box. And it shows you what the character set and alphabet would look like. Also, what it would look like in font size, ranging from 12 to 60 points. I believe it goes even higher. It does, 72 points. You can do this for just about any of them. Again, as you can see, the same thing. That's how you can examine the fonts. Let's go back to our font screen. Now let's take a look at, on the left side of the font screen, we have font settings. If you click on font settings, basically the only thing you can really do here is you can hide fonts that are installed on your system that are not for your language selection, in this case English. That's really the only thing you can do with it here. And you can also allow set installation and usage of fonts as shortcuts, which tend to save space, but with larger uh, computer hard drives today and with all the memory that our computers have this is not anything that we have to be too terribly concerned with I would not change this let's go back we can get more information basically that takes us to a Microsoft website which describes where you can get more uh, fonts if you wish many of them are commercial fonts they do require a fee be very, very careful here. There are many, many fonts that you can get on the Internet. Not all, but many of them are malware. Be very careful. You can adjust the clear text, clear type text, if you uh, click on adjust clear type text. This will then take you to the little wizard, if you will, that will allow you to go in and make sure that it's turned on and then you can jump through various screens and select the one that looks best for your computer screen. This is by default turned on and usually does a pretty good job. You do not usually have to come in here and change it, but you can. Find a character. Well, that just brings up the character map. We, dis uh, we did discuss that in an earlier quick shot video. Click on it and you get the character map for that particular font. You can change the font that you want and once you change the font let's pick one uh, well let's just pick Courier New and we get the Courier New character map for that particular font. Let's close that down. You can change the font size. Click on it. Currently, it is set at smaller, 100%. We also have more menu selections off to the left. Some of them, actually, 
repeat, like the clear type text. Uh, we're not going to go into change display settings or adjust resolutions. I am going to show you though, for example, the default size for the title bar is 11 points. This is the title bar at the top. If I leave it at title bar and I hit the drop down chevron and I change it to 14 and apply it, now the, the title bar is a lot bigger. That would be something I would change for myself. Be careful, you can make it too big. I'm going to set it back to its original and reapply. And we're going to go back to the font screen. And that's it for this quick shot. Please visit the website, thetechnologycloset.com, and while you're there, hit the subscribe button to our YouTube channel. Until next time.